2023 has been a banner year for horror, delivering plenty of devilish delights such as Evil Dead Rise, The Bone Woman, Influencer, Talk To Me, and of course Megan. Thankfully, 2024 is likewise shaping up to be another great year for this murky corner of cinema, and the following 20 features have many a horror hound extremely excited. So with that in mind, I'm Andrew from What Culture Horror, and here are the 20 most anticipated horror movies of 2024. Number 20. Lisa Frankenstein while Frank Henenlotter's Frankenhooker will forever remain the absolute best movie to be associated with the Frankenstein name, 2024's Lisa Frankenstein certainly looks promising. From shrimp director Zelda Williams and Juno and Jennifer's body writer Diablo Cody, this horror comedy is headlined by Freaky's Catherine Newton as Lisa Swallows, a quirky goth teenager who reanimates a Victorian era corpse and embarks on a killing spree with the fella, all as the two spark up a romantic relationship. Shaping up to be a standout of 2024's first quarter, Lisa Frankenstein is set for a February 9th release. Number 19. Night Swim Another early standout for 2024 is writer-director Bryce McGuire's feature-length version of his Night Swim short, which is currently due to swim to cinemas on January the 5th. Here, Wyatt Russell and Oscar nominee Kerry Condon head up the Waller family as they move into a new house, which unbeknownst to them just so happens to have a haunted swimming pool in his backyard. Night Swim's premise might sound a little daft, but the movie's trailers show plenty of promise for something genuinely creepy. Number 18. Alien Romulus Fede Alvarez has won plentiful plaudits for horror offerings such as a 2013 Evil Dead reboot and 2016's Don't Breathe, and in 2024, the Uruguayan guest to try his hand at the Alien franchise. While plot details for Alien Romulus are scarce right now, a star Kaylee Spaney has revealed Romulus will take place between Ridley Scott's Alien and James Cameron's Aliens. Plus, some of the crew who worked on the Xenomorph design for Aliens carried out the same job on Alien Romulus. Initially set to be released directly to Hulu, Alien Romulus will now instead be hitting theatres on the 16th of August. Number 17. Imaginary from Kick-Ass 2 and Truth or Dare director Jeff Wadlow comes Imaginary. Think those classic possessed doll movies, but switch out the doll for a cute teddy bear. That's the basic premise of Imaginary, with that bear being Chauncey. An imaginary friend who feels that the one the wisest Jessica left him behind years prior, Chauncey has Jessica and her young daughter in his sights when they move back into the old family house. Based on the trailer, this February release looks pretty darn nerve-shredding and promises plenty of tension and sinister chaos, all from a cute little teddy bear. Number 16. A Quiet Place Day 1 the third entry in the series, A Quiet Place Day One is a spin-off prequel centering on different characters to those seen in John Krasinski's prior two movies. For Krasinski, he's put together the story for Day One that's picked Michael Sonowski in the director's chair this time out. As for those new characters, the impressive cast is headed up by Academy Award winner Lupita Nyong'o, Hereditary's Alex Wolf, Stranger Things' Joseph Quinn, American Horror Story's Denny O'Hare, and we'll also have Jimon Hoosen back as the man on the island from A Quiet Place Part Two. The belief is that A Quiet Place Day 1 will indeed look at the early days of the otherworldly monsters taking over Earth when it lands in cinemas in June. Number 15. Smile 2 one of the biggest horror success stories of recent years is Parker Finn's Smile, a 2022 release which took home over $217 million at the box office from a $70 million budget. As such, it came as absolutely no surprise when Paramount Pictures says, yes please, we will have a sequel, which is on the way for October 2024. That first film revolves around a supernatural entity which possesses people. Ultimately, that person will end up taking their own life while they grin maniacally, and this curse and fate is passed on to whomever witnesses this gnarly death. No plots or cast details are known for Smile 2 as of yet, but Parker Finn has stated that certain things were purposely left ambiguous or uncovered in Smile, and that he hopes to deliver something different and fresh with this follow-up. Number 14. The Watchers Adapted from A.M. Shine's novel of the same name, The Watchers marks the directorial debut of Ashana Knight Shyamalan, as in, the daughter of a certain M. Knight. On headlighting duties here, it's Dakota Fanning as Mina, an artist who gets stranded in an Irish forest alongside three strangers, all as a group find themselves stalked by mysterious creatures. Also featuring barbarians Georgina Campbell, The Watchers is in cinemas in June. Number 13. Trap Speaking of M. Night Shyamalan, 2024 will give audiences the 16th film of the 53-year-old's directing career. The movie in question, that is Trap, a psychological horror set at a music concert. Of course, being a Shyamalan feature, there's an extremely good chance that there'll be a lot more going on when Trap arrives in August. Headed up by Josh Harnett, Trap's cast also features one of Shyamalan's other daughters, Salika. 
Number 12, Return to Silent Hill. Silent Hill fans have every right to be extremely excited and extremely nervous about the upcoming Return to Silent Hill. The reason for that excitement? Well, that's because the film is based on the exceptional Silent Hill 2 video game. The reason to be nervous? Yeah, that's because the last Silent Hill picture, as in 2012 Silent Hill Revelation, was a total dud, and also the 2006 Silent Hill movie was okay at best. Expected to arrive towards the middle of the year, Return to Silent Hill will, like Silent Hill 2, center on James Sunderland, played here by the woman in black Angel of Death's Jeremy Irvine as he searches for his wife in the spooky town amongst the backdrop of sinister imagery, nefarious monsters and his own dwindling sanity. Always a great mix. Number 11, Scream 7. The working plan for Scream 7 was supposedly for the film to release towards the end of 2024, but let's face it, who knows whether that will actually happen. Given the problems of this seventh Scream, one of the reasons this is so anticipated is, let's face it, just the sheer car crash nature surrounding the picture right now. Of course, Melissa Barrera, as in modern franchise lead Sam Carpenter, she's been fired from the movie. Fellow lead Jenna Ortega walked away from the film as a direct result of that. Director Christopher Landon, the poor fella, has been left in limbo. Script overhauls are underway and Spyglass are once again trying to lowball franchise favourite Neve Campbell in their attempts to get her to return. Chaos, glorious, glorious chaos. Number 10, Never Let Go. With Switchblade Romance, Mirrors, Crawl, and the hugely underrated horns on his resume, Alexander Azure is back in 2024 with the Hal Berry fronted Never Let Go, formerly known as Motherland. Berry heads up a family who've been tormented by an evil spirit for years, and when one of the family's children questions whether or not that evil presence is actually, you know, real, things take a turn for the truly, truly sinister. Like certain other films here, a specific release date is yet to be announced by Lionsgate for Never Let Go, but the fact that Never Let Go will arrive at some point in 2024. Number 9. Beetlejuice 2 It's easy to see why so many people, like me, are excited about Beetlejuice 2. Tim Burton back to direct, Michael Keaton back as the titular bioexorcist, Winona Ryder and Catherine O'Hara back as Delia and Lydia Dietz. Modern horror fave General Tager just talked about her for Scream. She's here as Lydia's daughter. Monica Bellucci as Beetlejuice's wife, the ever great Willem Dafoe as a ghost detective and rumors of a Johnny Depp cameo. All of those ingredients should hopefully mix together to make something truly special, with Warner Brothers currently having Beetlejuice 2 booked in for September, and I cannot wait. Number 8, The Strangers, Chapter 1. Granted, I do have a huge soft spot for both Strangers films, but this third entry in the franchise definitely has plenty of intrigue to it, regardless of my actual bias. Existing within the same continuity as its two predecessors, A Nightmare on Elm Street 4 and Deep Blue Seas, Rennie Harlan is on directing duties for what is the first in a trilogy of movies that were actually all filmed at the same time, with rumblings that all three of those films could actually be released across 2024. Plot-wise, The Strangers Chapter 1 finds a couple tormented by the nefarious trio of mass killers during a stay at a remote Airbnb. Across this trilogy, we'll see the impact on someone after a run-in with the strangers, with those villains likewise to get some of their own stories fleshed out a little. Number 7. Speak No Evil Released in 2022, See No Evil is an utterly stunning movie, but the problem is you might only watch it once. Beautifully crafted by writer-director Christian Tavstrup, See No Evil centers on a Danish family who become friends with a Dutch family while on holiday, then take up the offer to visit the Netherlands and stay with these new friends. Safe to say, uh, things get a little bit uncomfortable once the cogs of See No Evil really start to turn, and in 2024, the 9th of August to be precise, audiences will get an intriguing remake of See No Evil with James McAvoy Mackenzie Davis, Scoot McNary, and Alex West Leffler leading the charge. Number 6. Stream Overflowing with genre faves, Stream stars Reanimators Jeffrey Coombs, Candyman's Tony Todd, Halloween's Danielle Harris, Sleepaway Camp's Felissa Rose, Terrifier's David Howard Thornton, Rob Zombie regular Daniel Roebuck, and Dee Wallace, who's just been in like everything over the years. Directed by Michael Levy, Stream centers on the fractured Keenan family as they go on a vacation designed to bring them closer together. Of course, that vacation turns sour when four killers put the Keenans in their crosshairs. In terms of release, all that's known is that stream will arrive at some point in 2024 and it looks like being a whole bunch of bonkers fun from those trailers just jeffrey coombs alone should make this worthwhile number five terrifier three 
Speaking of David Howard Thornton, the Terrifier movies, they're not for everyone. Truth be told, the acts of Art the Clown aren't particularly my cup of tea. However, for those who've enjoyed what they've seen from Art so far, anticipation is high for Terrifier 3. Set for a 25th of October 2024 release, this third Terrifier film, which will actually be the fourth out in four art, will be a Christmas-themed picture, and who doesn't like a Christmas-themed horror? Samantha Scafidi will reprise her Victoria Hayes role here, with writer-director Damien Leone eager to flesh that character out more in this threequel. Likewise, Lauren Levera and Elliot Fulham are set to return as siblings Sienna and Jonathan Shaw, who I'm sure will have a lot of fun with art this time around again. Number 4. The Mystery Jordan Peele Movie Jordan Peele is one of the hottest names in horror these days, in fact one of the hottest names in cinema, period, and so anything that he's attached to immediately becomes a major deal. As such, while there are currently zero details known about the movie, just the fact that Jordan Peele is delivering a new horror film for Christmas 2024 has plenty of fans talking. Plot details? Yep, they're being kept completely under wraps right now, no cast has been announced, and the picture's title hasn't even been revealed as of yet. Still, Jordan Peele is once again working with Universal, who have previously given him the freedom to carve things that are very special such as Get Out, Us, and of course, nope. Number 3. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire I ain't afraid no ghost. With 2021's Ghostbusters Afterlife being so well received by the masses, it didn't take long for Sony Pictures to announce a further sequel, and that would be Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. This time, the Afterlife crew of the Spenglers and Paul Rudd's Gary Gruberson will be heading to New York City, where they and the surviving original Ghostbusters battle an entity known as the Death Chill that threatens to throw the entire planet into a new ice age. Those great new characters, with Peter Venkman, Ray Stanton, Winston Zedemann, in a snowy Big Apple, that sounds absolutely magnificent. A Frozen Empire's March release day, let's face it, it cannot get here soon enough. Number 2. Nosferatu Having been in development as far back as 2015, Robert Eggers' take on Nosferatu finally, finally arrives in 2024. With The Witch, The Northman and The Lighthouse, Eggers rightly has so much buzz around him, and that buzz has only been amplified for this vampiric tale that has the magically creepy Bill Skarsgård as Count Orlok. Lily Rose Depp's Ellen Hutter, she'll be in the longing gaze of the Count here, with the rest of the cast nicely fleshed out with Nicholas Holt, Emma Corrin, Aaron Taylor-Johnson, Ralph Innocent, and yeah, Yes, the beloved Willem Dafoe. The only downside about Nosferatu? Well, that's that the film's now been set for a 25th of December 2024 release, which is quite the frustrating wait. Number 1. Maxine Writer-director Ty West will have delivered an all-time great trilogy should he stick the landing with Maxine. With X and prequel Pearl, West and a phenomenal Mia Goth have established a world and lore that's proved extremely popular with Horror Hound. Following Goth's sole ex-survivor Maxine in an 80s setting where she's desperate to achieve fame at all costs, Maxine was initially aiming for a 2023 release. While no set date has been announced for the film as of this time, this third leg is expected to arrive at some point in 2024, and it could be absolutely spectacular. So that's our 20 most anticipated horror movies of 2024. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn those notification bells on, and come and give us a follow on X at What Culture Horror. While you're there, you can find myself at Culture Left Peg. But most importantly, just be sure to have the best possible day. Whether you're doing something or whether you're doing absolutely nothing at all, I hope it goes really well for you. And if things aren't going so well, I really, really do hope they turn around as soon as possible. I've been Andrew Pollard from What Culture Horror, and I'll catch you down the road.